Hi guys, I'm back. Today it's the 20th of April, 2021. Today I'm going to read Zechariah 11 to 14, Proverbs 20, and Psalm 112. Let's get started. Now, Ben, open your door. Then fire can burn up your cedar trees, juniper trees, cry out. The cedar trees have fallen down. The majestic trees are, are destroyed. Cry out, you oak trees of passion. The thick forest has been cut down. Listen to the shepherds cry out. Their rich grasslands are destroyed. Listen to the lion's roar. The trees and the bushes along the John River are gone. The Lord my God says, Take care of the sheep that are still about to be sacrificed. Those who buy them, kill them. Then they are not punished for it. <clears throat> Those who sell them say, Praise the Lord. We're rich, and their own shepherds do not spare them. <clears throat> I will no longer have pity on the people in the land. And the nurse is cool. I will hand all of them over to their neighbors and their king. And I will destroy their land. And I will not save anyone from their power. And I took the sheep. I took care of the sheep set apart to be sacrificed. I took special care of those that had been treated badly. Then, then I got two shepherds stuffed. I called one of them faith. I called the other one union. I call, and I took care of the flock. In one month, I got rid of these worthless shepherds. <clears throat> the sheep hated me, and I got tired of them. <clears throat> so I said, I won't be your shepherd anymore. I won't. <clears throat> Let those two of you who are dying, dying die. Let those of you who are passing away, pass away. Uh, those who are left, who are left, eat one another up. So then I got my staff called favor. I broke it. That meant the covenant the Lord had made with the, with all the nations was broken. It happened that day. The sheep that had been treated badly were watching. They knew it was the Lord's message. So he told them. He told them. I told them. If he's... If you think it is best, give me my pay. And if you don't think so, keep it. So they paid me 30 silver coins. <coughs> 30 silver coins. <coughs> the Lord said to me, throw those coins to the potter. That amount shows how little they valued me. So I threw the 30 coins to the potter. 30 silver coins to the potter at the Lord's time. And I broke my second staff called called Union. That broke the family connection between Judah and Israel. The Lord said to me, Now pretend to be a full shepherd. A full shepherd. <clears throat> Get the things you need. I'm going to raise up a shepherd over the land. He will not take care of those who are wounded. <clears throat> he will not look for the young ones. He will not heal those who are hurt, uh, and he will not feed the healthy one. Instead, he will eat. He will eat the best sheep. He will even tear their hooves off. How terrible it will be for that worthless shepherd! He deserts the flock. May his sword strike his arm and his right eye. And his right eye. May his, may his powerful arm become weak. Means right, I be totally blind. <coughs> this is a prophecy. It is the Lord's message about Israel. Um, the Lord spreads out the heavens, and He lays the foundation of the earth. He creates the human spirit and the person. He says, "Jerusalem will be like a cup in my hand. He will make all the surrounding nations drunk from the wine of my anger. Judah will be attacked by its enemies. So will Jerusalem." At that time, all the nations on earth will gather together against Jerusalem. The only will become like a rock that can't be moved. All the nations that try to move it will only hurt themselves. On that day, I will fill every horse with panic. I will make every rider crazy. And that's this I will watch over the people of Judah. But I will make the horses of the nations blind. Then the family groups of Judah will stay in their heart. The people of Jerusalem are strong. <laughs> And the, that's because the Lord who rules over all is their God. 
at that time, Judah's family groups will be like a fire pot in a pile of wood. They will be like a burning torch among bundles of grain. They will destroy all the surrounding nations on every side. A Jew is no more remain unharmed in his place. I'll save their houses in Judah first. The honor of David's family line is great. So he is the... So is the honor of those who live in Jerusalem. But their honor will not be greater than the honor of the rest of Jew. And at that time I will be like a shield to those who live in Jerusalem. Then even the weakest among them will be great warriors like David. And David's family line will be like the angel of the Lord who leads them. On that day I will begin to destroy the other nations that attack Jerusalem. And I will pour out the spirit of grace and prayer on David's family. I will also send on those who live in Jerusalem. They will look to me. I am the one they have pierced. I will man over me as someone mourns over an only child who has died. There will be so there will be full sorrow over me. This sorrow will be just like someone sorrow over an eldest son. At that time there will be a lot of weeping in Jerusalem. There will be, it will be as great as the weeping of the people at Hadad Rimen. Hadad Rimen is in the valley of Megiddo. They are weeping over Josiah's death. Everyone in the land will mourn. Each family will mourn by themselves and their wives by themselves. That even includes the family lines of David, Nathan, Levi, Shimei, and all the others. At that time, a fountain will be opened for the benefit of David's family line. He will also bless the others who live in Jerusalem. He will wash away their sins. He will make them pure and clean. On that day, I will remove the names of other gods from the way. This, they will not be, he will not even be remembered anymore. And this is the Lord who rules every rule. I will drive the evil prophets and out of the way. And I will rid the spirit. I will get rid of the spirit that has put lies in their mouth. Not put lies in their mouth. Some people who might still prophecy that their own fathers and mothers will see them. They'll tell them, you must die. He you have told lies in the Lord's name. When they prophesy, their own parents will stab them. At that time, every prophet will be ashamed of the vision they see. They will no longer pretend to be a true prophet. Pretend to be a true prophet. And they will be, they will put on clothes that are made out of in order to trick people. <clears throat> in fact, each one will say, I'm not really a prophet, I'm a farmer. I've, I've farmed the land since I was here. Suppose someone asks, what are these wounds on your bunny? They'll answer, I was given these wounds at the house of my friends. My soul, wake up, attack my chef, attack the man who <clears throat> is close to me, and that's his soul, Lord, who rules him for. Strike down the shepherd, and the sheep will be scared. Then I'll turn my hand against the against their little ones. <clears throat> their little ones. Here's what will happen happen in the whole land. <clears throat> and then says two thirds of the people will be struck down and die. But one third will be left. Uh, one third will be left. I'll put this third in the fire. I'll make them as pure as silver. I'll test them like gold. They will call out to me, and I'll answer them. I'll say, they are my people. And then they will say, the Lord is our God. <clears throat> the day of the Lord is coming, Jerusalem. And so ever since that time, your enemies will steal everything your people are. They will divide up within you. They will divide it up within your walls. <clears throat> The Lord will gather all the nations against the against the sea, against together. Yeah, they will fight against Jerusalem. Jerusalem. They will capture its city. Its its houses. Its houses will be robbed. Its women will be raped. Half of the people will be taken away as prisoners, but the rest of them won't be taken. Then the Lord will march out and fight against those nations. He will fight us on a day of battle. That's the day. On that day, he will stand on the Mount of Olives. It's east of Jerusalem. It's east of Jerusalem. It will be split in two from east to west. Half of the mountain will move south. Will move north. The other half will move south. Over. A large valley will be formed. The people will run away through their mountain valley. They will reach all the way to Asa. They will run away at just as they ran from the earthquake when Uzziah was king of Judah. 
And the little Michael will come. And the Holy Ones will come with me. There won't be any sunlight on that day. There will be no cold, no frosty darkness either. It will be a day unlike any other. It will be a day known to, known only to the Lord. It will not be separated into day and night. After that day is over, there will be light again. At that time, water that gives life will flow out from Jerusalem. Half of it will run east into the Dead Sea. Uh, half will go west in the Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean Sea. The water will flow in summer and winter. And the Lord will be king over the whole earth. On that day, there will be one more. His name will be the only name. The whole and south of Jerusalem will be changed from... From Geba to Rimmon, it will become like the Arab Valley. But Jerusalem will be raised up high. It will be raised from the Benjamin Gate to the Benjamin Gate to the first gate of the Common Gate. <coughs> to the Corner Gate. It will be raised from the town of Hanamel. <coughs> Hanam Hananel and to the Royal Wine Press. And it will remain in its place. People will live in it. Jerusalem will never be destroyed again. It will, it will be secure. <clears throat> the Lord will punish. Uh, the Lord will punish all the nations that fought against Jerusalem. He'll strike them with a the plague. They will strike their. It will make their bodies rot while they are still standing on their feet. Their eyes will rot in their heads. Their tongues will rot in their mouths. <clears throat> Mm, on that day, the Lord will fill people with great panic. They will grab, they will grab one another by the hand, and they will attack one another. Mm, Judah will also fight in Jerusalem. The wealth of all the surrounding nations will be collected. Huge amounts of money, huge amounts of gold, silver, silver and clothes will be gathered up. The same kind of plague will strike the horses, horses, mules, camels, and donkeys. In fact, he will strike all the animals in the army camps. In the army camps, uh, some people from all the nations that have attacked Jerusalem will still be left alive. Some of them will go up to there to worship, to worship the king. He is the Lord who rules everyone. Year after year, these people celebrate the feast of peace. Some nations might not go up to Jerusalem to worship, to worship the the king. If they don't, they might not have any right. The people of Egypt might not go up there to take part. They won't have any rain either. That's the place the Lord will send on the nations that don't go to celebrate the feast of peace. Egypt will be punished. <clears throat> Egypt will be punished. So will all the other nations, other nations that don't celebrate the feast. <clears throat> On that day, holy to the Lord will be carved from the bells of the horses. <clears throat> the curtain parts and then the Lord's temple will be just like the sacred bells in front of the altar for burnt offerings. Every part in, in Jerusalem and Judah will be set apart for them. And all those... All those who come to offer sacrifices will get some of the pots and cook in them. At that time, there won't be any Canaanites in the Lord's temple. And he is the Lord who rules everyone. Proverbs 20. One causes you to make fun of others, and B causes you to start fights. They know who is led astray by them and not right. A king brings anger, a king's anger brings terror like a lion's roar. And... Anyone who makes them angry may lose their life. <laughs> Avoiding a fight brings on to a person. But every foolish person is quick to argue. Anyone who refuses to work doesn't plan the right season. And they look for a crop at harvest time. They don't plan. The purposes of a person's heart are like deep wood. No one who has understanding brings them out. Any claim to have love that never fails. But who can find a faithful person? Those who do right live without blame. Let's tell their children after them. The king sits on a stone to judge. He gets rid of all the evil when he sees it. No one can say, I've kept my heart pure. I'm clean and I haven't sinned. The Lord hates two things. He hates ways that weigh things heavier lighter than they really are. He also hates measures that measure things larger or smaller than they really are. Even small children are known by their actions. 
So he's going to conduct really pure and right. The Lord has made two things. He has made ears that hear. He has also made eyes that see. <laughs> Don't let sleep or you will become poor. Stay awake and you will have more severe than me. It's no good. It's no good, says the wife. And off they go and brag about what they bought. There's God and there are plenty of rubies. Live with a sweet knowledge of a price with chill. Take the coat of one who puts some money forward to strangers. Hold it until we get paid back if it is done for an outside. If you gave my chicken too sweet, then you'll end up with a mouthful of grub. Plans, that are, plans are made by asking for guidance. So if you go to war, get good advice. A person who talks about others tells secrets. So avoid anyone who does troll so much. If anyone asks for bad things to happen to their father or mother, that person's land will be blown out in total darkness. Property that you claim too soon will not be blessed in the end. Don't say, I'll get even with you for the wrong you did to me. The way for the Lord, and he will make things right for you. The Lord hates waste that way things have a lot than they really are. So you know, they're not honest, well, don't pray, please. The Lord directs a person's steps. So how can anyone understand their own way? The person is trapped if they make a hearty promise to God and only later thinks about what they say. Wise king gets rid of evil people. He answers the session when we were heaven. The spirit of a person is a lamp. Is the lamp of the He lights a what is deep down inside. Love and truth keep you king safe. Faithful love makes this land secure. Young men are proud of this land. The great hair brings them to old men. Place of grief scrub evil away. And beatings make you pure deep down inside. Psalm 100 and... Psalm 112. Praise the Lord. Blessed are those who have respect for the Lord. They find great delight when they obey God's command. Their children will be powerful and good. Because they are honest, their children will be blessed. Their family will have wealth and riches. They will always be blessed for doing what is right. Even in the darkness, light shines on us. It shines on those who are kind and tender and godly. Good things will come to those who are willing to lend freely. Good things will come to those who are fair in everything they do. They do do what is right will always be secure. They will be remembered forever. They aren't afraid when... They aren't afraid when bad news comes. They stand firm because they trust in the Lord. Their hearts are secure. They aren't afraid. In the end, they will see their enemies destroyed. They will have spread their gifts around around to poor people. Their good works continue forever. They will be powerful and on. Evil people will see and be upset. They will grind their teeth and become weak and weak. What evil people want to do can't succeed. Now that it's done, I shall now do the Lord's prayer. Please bow your heads. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, it will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as you receive forgiven our debtors. There is no temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.